Okay, so what we're working on right now is a sticky rice dish. And sticky rice is a separate breed altogether from normal rice. And it's a staple food in Asia in several countries. And it has some properties within the rice that are different than normal rice. It's called a glutinous rice. And the reason it's called sticky rice is as you'll see when we're done with it, it sticks together in clumps. The advantage of sticky rice over normal rices or normal rice species is that it is full of manganese. And manganese helps your body to metabolize proteins, carbohydrates, and cholesterols. It's got kind of a sweet flavor to it, but you can also add other things to it. We're going to add some Old Bay seasoning to it. I call it Old Bay sticky rice. That adds a little peppery hot flavor to it for a good rib stick and meal that's pretty easy to cook it does take some prep time but if you start to prep the day before in camp which just means soaking the rice you really need to soak the rice for 8 to 24 hours they say 4 to 24 6 to 24 I just do it you know from midday to the next morning is good enough for me and then you need to steam the rice and we'll talk about how we steamed it the soaking part is easy you just take as much rice as you're gonna cook put it in the bottom of a pot and fill that pot with about three inches of water above the level of the rice and you let it soak. Not a big deal. The steaming of the rice, I'll show you how I did that today in this video because that's a critical part of making the sticky rice. Because you are making it water soluble when you soak it and allowing the steam to really cook that rice very quickly. Like normal real rice is not the minute rice or things that are already cooked rice that you just heat up for 90 seconds. You're really actually cooking this rice. And we'll talk about the steaming process and how I set that up in this large bush pot as we go. Stay with me. Okay, so once we have let this rice steam for a good 15 minutes, we're going to go ahead and pull it out of the steamer in the bag. We'll talk about that bag a little bit too, and we're going to let this. We're going to hang this up to drain in case there's any water in it. We're just going to put a Marline spike hitch around it on a utility cord and hang it off a line. Okay, so real quick, like, let's talk about how we set this steamer up. We took our large bush pot, and we just took, this stuff's a little hot still, and we took the stove stand from our bottle and cup set. We set that in the bottom of the big bush pot, and then we took our cooking rack that fits in our small bush pot and put it in the top, and that kind of closes those gaps around the side. And then we took our bag of rice and set it on top of that. Filled about three inches of water in there so it's not touching the rack, but below the rack and below the rice. And then put the lid on it, heated that dude up, and that was our steaming pot. Okay, so we used a buff to put this rice in. I just hung it on a Marline spike hitch right here to dry out and cool down. And now we're ready to go over and mix some spices in with this dude Need it. And I'm going to show you how I actually put this together it was really really simple stay with me okay so all I did was I tied a knot in one end of a buff and once my water had soaked my rice had soaked in the water I poured all of that off into this bandana and just put a hair tie around it you could use anything for that and put the rice inside this to cook the rice and you can see that there is our sticky rice right there and you can see it's all stuck together I'm just gonna put this right down in this bush pot for the moment and you could mix this seasoning in by piling it back up in here and squeezing it around just like that no problem and then basically all you're gonna do is just pull this off and eat it with your fingers so when you're ready to go after this stuff, you're just grabbing a ball of it and eating it down.
You can mix meat in there. Um, one of the things I see people do a lot is mix curry, like curried pork with this. But it's really good food. There's nothing wrong with it. It's kind of a bland flavor, but that's why you mix meat in with it and seasonings in with it to give it some flavor, but it's very rib sticking type food. Pretty easy to prepare. Stores well in some type of an airtight container like a plastic water bottle or something like that. You could fill a 32 ounce bottle with this stuff and eat on it for probably a couple of three days. Especially if you were adding something to it like some fish from the water's edge or some type of meat source that you happen to get like frog legs, something like that. But just a really good, quick trail food. And the thing about it is, is you know, once it's cooked like this, you could leave it in this buff if you wanted to and hang it from a tree, as long as there weren't a lot of bugs around, things like that, especially in cooler months of the year. That's going to keep pretty well if you're close to refrigeration temperature. You really should keep this stuff in a refrigerator, you know, for more than a day or two if you're trying to save it. But I wouldn't hesitate a bit to put the lid on that bush pot, hang that thing off a Marline spike hitch, and eat it four, five, six hours from now so I could use it a couple of times a day. Make some of it in the morning and eat it several times that day. Good food.